Let's move on. Mississippi State Bulldogs. Eight and five last year, four and four in the conference. Uh, Joe Moorhead's first year, well, probably should have won more last year. I mean, they, they lost three guys in the first round of the NFL draft off their defense. Last year was supposed to be the dream season. Had Dan Mullen stayed, I think it might, it, it maybe would have. But we'll, we'll see. Either way. Uh, returning starters, six back on offense, three back on defense. That's not good. This team's going to look completely different. Returning experience, number 84 in the country, number eight in the con- or in the uh, conference. Um, seven and a half is the over-under. Over is minus 130. Under is plus 110. Vegas thinks this team is more likely to hit eight wins than they are to hit seven. Joel Mohead tried to make a square peg fit in a round hole with Nick Fitzgerald last year. He, he absolutely should have won more games last year, period. And there were there were a lot of games where they were just one possession games where if he had just done a little bit different to score a few more points, then they, they would have won. Supposed to be an offensive guru. Yeah. Uh, quarterback Tommy Stevens transfers from Penn State, though. He's, uh, he's comfortable in Moorhead's system, and he should beat out uh, Keaton Thompson. Running back Kylan Hill, three offensive linemen, and two starting wide receivers return. Uh, you know, I mean, that's, that's pretty the good. The offense is going to be a lot better. Yeah. Only three starters back for the number one total defense, number two scoring defense in the country. In the country. Uh, linebackers Errol Thompson and Leo Lewis return, along with a ton of depth. Uh, defense, going to be weird. Uh, I would expect defensive coordinator Bob Shoup to kind of change his scheme this year. Um you can't call the same defense without, like, Montez Sweat and Jeffrey Simmons. Like, you, you just you can't. That's right. Um, it's, Transcendent players you cannot yes. replace. Yes, so especially at a program like that. That's it. Like, it's, like, Al- it's like trying to replace Josh Allen at, at Kentucky. In Kentucky, yeah. So right. it's going to be different this year. I think the offense will be better. I think people have not had a chance to really catch up to what Joe Moorhead wants to do offensively because he hasn't done it yet. Like, you were able to catch up to Nick Fitzgerald because he couldn't throw the ball to the right team. Like, he, Fitzgerald is the prototypical running quarterback. That's what Mullen had him as. He didn't put him in positions He, he threw to the fail. ball pretty damn well with Mullins. He absolutely did not. Yeah, did. Absolutely did not. We talked about this last year. He was only about a 50% completion percentage. But and that's how many yards he, and how many touchdowns did he throw for? Because all of those things were pretty damn good. I don't care about the percentages because you don't take percentages to the bank. Uh, okay. You take points to the bank. I'm with you. But if you look at what Moorhead did with him. But that's because Moorhead's an idiot. I'm with you. But Mullen, even Mullen understood that you have to run with that kid. I, you well, can't okay. put him in a position to fail. That's right. And that's you, what Moorhead you have did. To be a, you, you have to coach the players you have. And Moorhead exactly. said, we're going to punt on this season. The most talented team that State may have ever had. Yeah. We're going to punt on it because yeah. the quarterback doesn't look the way I want him to look. No, you're he right. doesn't play the way I want him to play. If I was a State fan, I would have been pissed last year. Oh, yeah. Oh, and a lot of them were. Because uh, he, he, that was supposed to be the And all of a sudden, the answer is this year, well, everything's going to be fine. Because the offense is going to be a lot better. You know what? It is. And the defense is going to be a lot worse. Not not because you're bad and not because anything's wrong with State, but because you just can't replace those guys. Yeah. You're not Alabama. You're not Clemson. You can't just lose top first-round talent. I have got State because Moorhead is able to recruit. Like, he has come in and recruited. He's brought talent. He's actually recruited better as far as rankings. And well, yeah, we'll but Dan. about player development. But Dan didn't recruit. I, I, understand. I understand. Dan said, give me a two stars. Give me a three stars. And I'll develop them. And I'll put them in the NFL. Moorhead has brought in more uh, more talent. That's right. Incoming. No, no, no and, question. Which is surprising for a guy from, you know, up in New York, right? So, and he was at Penn State, and he understood the Penn State, the Northeast area. He understood that. But he came down here, hired a bunch of guys that understand Southeast Conference. He did, he, he did what he needed to do, though, because yes. you got to do that. I've got him at eight and four. Okay. Um, I've got him losing to Auburn, Tennessee, Texas A&M, and Alabama. Uh, now, could they go seven and five? Could they go six and six? Absolutely. I think eight and four may be the ceiling. Um, although, I mean, I could see him winning at Tennessee because that's coming off of a bye week. It just depends on what Tennessee looks like at that point. Uh, I mean, the ceiling maybe is nine and three, 
I think the floor is six and six. I've got them right in the middle of eight and four. It wouldn't shock me to have them seven and five. I've got them seven and five. And that makes and, perfect and I'm sense. A, but I'm going to tell you one thing. There's one team we haven't got to yet. We'll get to them next. And Ole Miss is the team I have no earthly idea what to think of. Yeah. I, have, I have no clue what to think of that team. If, if they roll off losses to Auburn, Tennessee, LSU, A&M, beat Arkansas, lose to Alabama, they go five out of six losing, this team could collapse. They could turn on Moorhead. And when the Egg Bowl comes around, I could easily see Ole Miss saying, this is our Super Bowl, and you guys are falling to pieces, chasing your tail. Yeah. I've got them seven and five. I do think the floor is six and six. I'd be shocked if they were five and seven. All of my frustration with this team is because I think last year you had a chance to do be something special. really good. And then I just hate coaches, hate coaches that take over programs and then just punt on a season because these aren't my guys. Yeah. Especially when the other side of the team is so good and so ready. If you just don't screw it up, yeah, you could do something really special. Still did something special in, in the grand scheme of how the team went and season went, but it could have been so much more. It, it could have been significantly more. I mean, they, they should have. And he's the only person that solely has to wear that record. Yes. He has to wear that. Yeah. And now all you got to do is go out and uh, find a way to, to get the best team in Mississippi State history. Like, but now you got to build it. But now you got to build it. And that's, that's the thing. Maybe he, obviously he didn't know what to do with them last year. 